I get a lot of good training in during the week. And uh, some of my recent training has been up to Northern California where my coach is. Jesse Burdick, he's one of the CrossFit Powerlifting seminar coaches. So I got to actually train with him. So that was actually a, a huge benefit. Training on the road for the level one seminars is a little bit tricky sometimes, but uh, we, you know, we work it out, we fit it in. And I, I kind of concentrate more on my training during the week than on the weekends. I don't particularly love writing my own workouts. I probably bias more to my strengths, so I kind of look to someone else to make it and they usually come up with something spicy. Or we'll do like a main site workout, so it's always fun. started training for the games, I was training alongside Becca uh, almost exclusively, so I got to do a lot of training with her, one-on-one, -on -one or, you know, just as like my partner, but um, it's, it's a little less now. Rest is my number one most important thing, and this last week I've been getting such good sleep, and I think that's partly why I feel so great. Um, that is just, it's been huge, and making that a priority in my life has totally changed my training. We like to teach about paleo and zone, and I think those are both really beneficial, and I've uh, at different times practiced both of them. Nutrition for life versus nutrition for intense competition, athletic training, it's got to be a little bit different. And that's what I'm starting to learn this year, is that you know the way I might eat for the rest of my life is not exactly how I'm going to be eating right now when I'm eating for intense competition. I got to kind of, you know, do different things with carbohydrates, play around with different things with the protein amounts, and depending on recovery or, you know, there's a lot of different stuff that I'm working on personally for to see what works for me. Wow.